This is section 5.7, the substitution method. In this video, we're going to go through number 45 in your book, and this is an example where they're asking us to take the integral of a function, but we'll need to use this new technique that we learned, u sub. Okay, so number 45, they're asking us to take the integral, but the first time we look at this function, we realize it's a little bit more complicated than other things we've done. We don't have any rules for how to take the integral of this function as it is. We could multiply this out 12 times and then add everything together and just use our regular power rule, but that sounds terrible. So instead, we're going to do the new thing that we learned this section called u sub. So how u sub works is we're going to take a part of this function and set it equal to u. Generally, the part that you want to set equal to u is going to be some function within another function. So for example, here I had this function raised to a power. I'm going to set this inside part equal to my u. So I have z cubed plus 1 equals u. And next thing I'm going to do is, remember, I'm trying to rewrite this function in terms of u so that I can just take the integral with all the rules that I know how. Um, but if you notice here in the original problem, I have a dz. I want to rewrite that in terms of du also. So in order to get that, I'll need to take the derivative of both these sides. And when I take the derivative on this left here, I'll get 3z squared dz equals, on the right here, derivative of u is just du. Okay, next thing that you want to think about is, so for u sub, um, we want whatever we have here to cancel out with what's left in the function, right? Because we want to rewrite this all in terms of just u's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for dz here, is equal to du over 3z. I'm going to plug this value in for my dz. And remember, when I plug this in for my dz, I should have things cancel out so that I have this entire function written in terms of only u. So let's see if that happens. So I'll take my dz value and plug it in. And when I do that, I get z squared times this value is now u to the 12th. And my dz is equal to du over 3z. Okay. Oh, sorry, 3z squared. Perfect. And now looking at what I have, I see that this z squared can cancel with this z squared. And now I'm just left with, I'll move this out over here, 1 third u to the 12th du. And this is great. I know how to take the integral of this. So that's about it. From here, it's just regular integral rules. The integral of u to the 12th, I'll add 1 to the exponent, so it becomes u to the 13th. And then uh, divide by that number. So I get 1 third times 1 over 13 um, plus c. I'm going to simplify this a little. So I get 1 over 39 uh, u to the 13th plus c. But remember, they weren't actually interested in u. They're interested in this z function. So at this point, I'm just going to plug in whatever I set u equal to. So now that I, now I have my answer in terms of z. So this becomes 1 over 39 z cubed plus 1 to the 13th plus c. And that's it. So step one was we identified a function within a function to set equal to u. We took the derivative of both sides and replaced our dz with whatever it equaled to. So that now things crossed out and I have a function written in terms of only u and I have a function where I know how to take the integral of it. So from there I just took the integral like normal and when I was done I just plugged back in my z function that I set equal to you. And that was it. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.